So personal allowance is a, is a type of a tax exempt income. And for the tax year 1920, the personal allowance value is 12,500. And this 12,500 is available for each individual, uh, uh, even for uh, separately for husband and separately for wife. But there is a income limit in order to get this uh, 12,500, there is an income limit of 100,000. Now what it means? So first of all, that income limit is uh, says that, uh, that uh, income is refers to the adjusted net income. So in order to check that uh, limit, we have to first identify the adjusted net income. So if uh, adjusted net income, rule number one is that if adjusted net income is uh, equal to or less than 100,000, then full personal allowance is available. And, uh, and if A and I is uh, greater than and equal to 1,25,000, for example, it is 1,25,000 or more than that, then personal allowance becomes zero. So we have to be uh, calculate uh, personal allowance if A and I is in between 100,000 and 1,25,000, then personal allowance will be reduced and we have to compute uh, the personal allowance. For example, if A and I is 1,10,000, then a reduced personal allowance is available. But if A and I is uh, one lakh thirty thousand, so we can say that the personal allowance will be zero. Now the rule of reduction is that uh, for every two pound excess, there will be a reduction of one pound. That means first of all, calculate A and I, then compare this with the income threshold that is one hundred thousand find out the excess balance and then multiply this excess balance by 50%. So we'll get the amount of reduction. So for example, if your A and I is uh, say, suppose uh, 1 lakh 16,000, then the excess is uh, 16,000 and then multiply by 50% of this value will get reduction of 8,000 from personal allowance. So, the available personal allowance is 12,500. You will reduce this personal allowance by 8,000 and the remaining personal allowance that is available now is 4,500. Now the definition of A and I is first of all, identify the net income and we can find out net income from the total income minus the relief. We'll get net income. From net income, deduct gross personal pension contribution and gross gift add donation. Both the items must be gross if available, then you can get the figure of A and I. Now, what is the meaning of gross? So if uh, normally the pension is available as a net pension, so if net pension is given or a net gift add donation is given, always gross it by divide, divide it by 0.8 because the difference of gross and net is 20% because the deduction rate is 20%. So if you have to gross this value, always divide it by 0.8. So you will get the figure of the gross pension contribution. That means the gross pension contribution is 10,000. And after a deduction of 20% of the value, the net pension contribution is 8,000. The detailed rules of the pension contribution will be covered in the chapter of first, uh, pension contribution. Uh, and we will discuss about the, what is the uh, meaning of this 20% reduction. So first of all, uh, convert the net pension into gross pension. And this is also applicable for gift aid donation. If net gift aid donation is given, then make it gross and then adjust in the formula of A and I. So for example, say suppose we have employment income of 1,30,000 and net pension is given as 12,000. So how much PA is available? So first of all, convert this uh, net into gross PPC and 12,000 divided by 0.8 and that becomes 15,000. Now we'll find out uh, ANI. So our ANI is the net income. The employment income is uh, 1,30,000. And from this, deduct 
gross PPC. The gross PPC is uh, 15,000. Now we have ANI of 1 lakh 15,000. Now, as ANI is in between 100,000 and 1 lakh 25,000, so there will be a reduction. So, uh, how we can calculate reduction? So, we are, our PA is uh, available 12,500. Or you can say that uh, if I have space available, so I will calculate here. PA is 12,500. And now we have a reduction. So how reduction will be work out. So ANI is uh, 1 lakh 15,000. So 1 lakh 15,000 minus the income threshold that is 100,000. And excess is divided multiply by 50%. So the excess value is uh, 15,000 into 50 percent. That is 7,500 reduction. And the remaining balance is uh, comes to be 12,500 minus 7,500. So the available value of personal allowance is 5,000. Now from the income tax computation pro forma, we will, dis we will reduce personal allowance by uh, we will reduce for the value of income tax income by 5000 that is uh, instead of 12500 now the personal allowance is only available 5000 one more thing that is important here is whenever there is a personal pension contribution or a gross gift at donation then our band will be extended we have three band. One is the basic rate band, other is the higher rate band, and the third one is the additional rate band. So what you have to do, you have to add gross PPC and gross gift at donation to the basic rate value. Similarly, the higher rate value is 1 lakh 50,000. So you have to add, uh, increase it by the gross PPC and gross gift at donation. If both are given in a question, then uh, increase basic rate by the gross value and increase HR by the value of gross PPC. So in this way, for example, connecting with the previous example, the basic rate band was 37,500 and the gross PPC was 15,000. Now the current limit is 52,500 and the HR is 150,000. So the gross PPC is 15,000 and the limit is 165,000. Now our basic rate will start from one pound till 52,500 and the rate of tax will be 20%. And from 52,501 till 165,000, it is higher rate band and a rate of 40% for income tax purpose. And now the third band will start from 165,001 and there is no upper limit on that. Husband and wife can transfer the unused personal allowance so that their tax liability can be minimized. So in order to transfer personal allowance, there must be a relationship between a uh, husband and wife as a spouse or as a civil partner. And uh, how much uh, PA can be transferred? There is a restriction. 10% of the PA will be transferred only and that uh, value will be given you in the text sheet. 1250. The maximum transfer of PA is 1250. Whenever you have to transfer PA, then the maximum limit is 1250. You cannot uh, increase it or decrease it the value. Personal allowance of transferer will be reduced, and the receiver personal allowance will not be unaffected. That means the person who is transferring, for example, husband is husband has transferred 1250. So the wife's personal allowance will not be affected, will remain the same. Rather than the transferred PA will be act as a income tax reducer. It will reduce the income tax liability of the person who received the uh, personal allowance. And there is a four year condition attached with the transfer. For example, David and Victoria are married in 1920. David tax adjusted trading profit is 10,000. Victoria is an employee having an employment income of 30,000. Calculate income tax liability of both, assuming an election is made to transfer personal loans. Now, David's personal allowance is 12,500. So there is a, a vestige of personal loans. 
so they have elected to transfer so from the profit of 10000 the personal allowance of uh, debit is 12500 1250 is being transferred remaining personal allowance is uh, uh, more than 10000 so there will be no taxable income but as far as victoria is concerned victoria's employment income is 30000 her personal allowance is 12500 so the taxable income is 17500 now we have to apply the basic rate tax so 17500 into 20% and the basic income tax uh, income tax liability is 3500 now the transferred 1250 is act as a tax reducer multiply by the basic rate so 250 is the reduction in income tax liability and the final income tax payable is 3250